Hi everyone, in this video we want to discuss buying plastic teeth for the ACS preparation. So let's get started. All right, and with me over Zoom, I have one of our instructors, Dr. Sharif with us. Hello, Dr. Sharif. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm good, Dr. Ahmed, how are you? I'm doing fine. Um, so yeah, you have some first-hand experience uh, and some uh, current experience in, in buying some teeth and uh, you know what, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through that. I think I have three questions I wanna ask and see what you could kind of uh, advise based on that. And then we could just go through it and hopefully it'll be helpful for everyone else watching and getting started. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right, so I think the first thing is to know the type of teeth that we want, right? So the type, so people don't make any mistakes in like what teeth they're trying. They don't order the wrong set of teeth. We're gonna talk about that. Then I think we wanna know the number of teeth and distribution. And then at the end, we could see where we get them from, right? Yeah. So let's talk first about the types of teeth. Um, so specifically, which kind of teeth do you need when you're when you're buying like the plastic teeth? They're the Nissan ones, right? Yeah. So initially, when uh, you first want to start with the plastic teeth, um, just to get your hands uh, moving, and just initially, you would always want to start with the plastic ones. Don't get to the special teeth, mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about what the special teeth are in a minute. But don't start with these until you're sure uh, until you, at least you've got your motor skills on spot right you're yeah. good with with the preps that you're doing and you're becoming confident yeah. with all your props then you can move to the special teeth yeah so we're gonna we're um, gonna think uh we're thinking to do like a different video about special teeth but we want to focus okay. on everything about plastic teeth in this one um yeah yeah so so for example like the, i know that you tried to get them once from ebay and then Maybe they didn't fit. So is there like a specific detail just to make sure the type yes, of brand? Exactly. So uh, what I would advise is just buy the plastic teeth from uh, from here, from mm -hmm. Ontario, just like you can go to North America. We'll talk, or, yeah. Um, um, Candent yeah. Yeah. or any other place that sells those plastic teeth. And yeah. um, as long as it's here, they would supply you with the right um, right teeth that you would need for mm -hmm. your specific uh, type of dog. Yeah. So, okay. so uh, sorry to just uh, say the comment on that. So it's usually like the 200 series um, and you want to make sure that it's the 32 piece, right? Because if you get the 28 yes, exactly. piece type of teeth, it doesn't fit on the 32 piece. Exactly. So when I first started practicing, practicing for the ACS, uh, I found those teeth are way cheaper on eBay. And I said, you know what, let me try buying some and see how it goes. And um, I was able to get two sets of teeth, but unfortunately I bought the ones for the 28 um, mm -hmm. set of teeth typodont, yeah. and they do not fit on the typodont that we practice for the ACS exam. Okay, so just to clarify everyone, um, even the Nissan brand, you'll find two typodonts, one that has 32 teeth and uh, basically goes up to the eight, includes the eight in the typodont, and the other one uh, includes, only has up to the seven, so it's 28. The teeth from this Nissan doesn't fit on the other one, okay? They're not interchangeable. You can't buy the 28, exactly. uh, the the teeth for, the plastic teeth for the 28 piece won't fit on the 32. So exactly. your typodont that we want for ACS is the 32 piece, which means it has the, the wisdom teeth, it has the eights, and you have to buy those teeth for uh, for that type. Okay, so we got done. We're done with the type. Um, now, what's your recommendation on how many teeth you need to start? Well, I would say start with uh, five teeth of each, mm -hmm. except for the sixes, like the one, six, two, six, three, six, and four, six. Uh, you can get 10 of those, okay, because you, you're going to practice a lot on them. And then as they finish, uh, you can always purchase more because mm -hmm. you're not going to uh, you're not going to use all the teeth with the same quantity. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be feel like you're not confident with your preparations on the two six. 
while you're okay with the preparation that you're doing on the one six. So you mm -hmm. get more of the two six than the one six, right? Yeah. But initially you would want to start with at least 10. Got you. So for what you, what you mean, like, so let's say you might realize that you need more of the two six compared to the one six later on. So you might get exactly, the, next, exactly. the next time you buy, you might buy 10 and then five, or you might change that up. Right. So exactly. In total, yeah. let's and, say, and then for the adjacent teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So I just, I just wanted to clarify. So 10 pieces of the sixes, but yeah. for the rest of the teeth, you may want to start with five, right? Like uh, even inside, you don't get to practice as much on the sixes. Yeah. Like even the third molars, for example, and the incisor, just to be safe, you want to, you just get five and, and you're done with it kind of. Exactly. Exactly. So if for the, say for the seven, uh, there are preparations that you need to practice on the seventh, right? Mm -hmm. And for the eighth, sometime while you're practicing and you're doing, um, for example, an, uh, a full metal crown, you nick the eighth or something, or you damage it, uh, you will have to replace it. So it's yeah. always a good idea to have extra set of all of them within like a proper, within an adequate amount, not way too many that you're yeah. not going to need. Right. Yeah. So five, I would say is the best number that you can go with for all the teeth to until you with. run out and then you can always buy more. Yeah. yeah. So that's like, if you're doing a preparation on the seven, that's when you would nick the, the eight, right? So if I want to calculate eight. these, yeah. that means it's kind of like 28 times five plus 40 teeth. So just to kind of give a total number, Am I doing this? I think I'm, I got the right calculation plus 40. So that's like a total of 180 teeth, let's say. So the total would come up to like, you, you're looking at around $500 to start with, right? Yeah. For plastic Approximately. Teeth. Yeah. Kind Approximately. Of like that. Yeah. Like I got 495. I got, you know, if, if, if you get it for a cheap, I put 275, 2.75. But if you, if you got it for cheaper or a little bit more, it's like around there just to give people like an idea of how much that would cost them to start with. All right. Yeah. So and okay. there's also one thing if you want to cut down the cost. Yeah. Uh, you can check those Facebook groups. Some of the people who just finished the ACS, they uh, they actually put the remaining teeth that they have on the market and they sell it mm -hmm. uh, with no tax, right? Yeah. And, so you save uh, this way you can actually reduce the yes exactly. So you're saving up. Um, on one side, but the other side, you may have a lot of teeth that you don't need. So you may want to look at the set of teeth that's being sold and mm, if it yeah. works for you and if it suits your needs or not. Mm -hmm. So like basically when you're buying a used kit or, or someone already has teeth, usually it's the teeth that they don't use as much. Right. And you might get it, it, teeth you don't exactly, need. Exactly. You might. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So or you simply might find like maybe that that uh a 10 10 of eights for example right yeah which is um, not good <laughs> too many eights which is, yeah. ex exactly exactly so you might uh, you might end up just paying for something that you don't need yeah i had actually one of the students said that they bought teeth from someone and they turned out not to work at all for them like they weren't even the teeth that required maybe they bought they bought the 28 piece one right so that's why when you're buying from someone not like a place uh, not like a, a known, you know, establishment or anything, then you, you, you have to be careful. You have to know what they are. Maybe try make sure they fit, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. So um, next is where to get them from. Now, just before we get into that, I'm just going to say you could always look at the, if you're taking a course, you could always probably buy them from a course you're taking. Uh, they might be able to sell them. So check with that. Now, some other places, uh, there are, area uh places in canada basically like north america right and other websites we could uh candent i think is one of them too um those areas are those those places sell them as well but if you happen to go let's talk about the ebay like if you buying stuff from ebay like i i've done that when i did my acs i bought some stuff from ebay but teeth it's kind of risky a bit no yes it is it is, but if you know the right thing and you know exactly what you need and the type of teeth that uh, that fits into your into your type of dent, uh, you should be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it has their it's downsized though. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it takes too long 
working until it gets here, yeah. which is something not practical because say, for example, you're in the middle of the course and you, uh, you're you running out of, for example, one three, for example, and then you order it through eBay, it's going to take like, what, at least a month to get there. Yeah. Uh, it's not it's practical, time -wise. honestly. Yeah. I got what you mean. Yeah, because eBay, sometimes you don't know where, like how long it's going to take to ship. And, and if you get it, then it, you turned out to order something that doesn't actually fit. And then you waited you know. for too long for no reason. Reason. Yeah, and and probably the the amount you save is not it's not even like worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully that um, kind of covers. So what I want to what we want to show now is just maybe like for example, if we go to uh, uh, North America, for example, this is like one example to show people what they could order here. So for example, you could just go to when you go to the website, um, you could just go to the plastic teeth here right click there and then you can see they're all the same picture but you want to be so for example here it's saying the price and everything and you want to just simply order from here you could click on let's say the three six you know we're saying maybe 10 of these you put in 10 and and you know you guys get the point right you do that for the four six the one six the th uh, the two six and then for each other every other tooth you do five and that should give you a total of 180 tooth uh 180 teeth and I think they, you know, shipping may be included if it's a certain uh, over a certain price, or you could go pick it up, right? For example, for for uh, the specific, I'm not saying like it may, it may change, but at this time, right there, uh, shipping is included if it's a, over uh, a certain amount, right? Yeah. So, um, but the, I believe also the most convenient way is just making your order, and the next day you just go collect it, yeah, and then go to your course. This is the the most convenient way uh, but of course if you're not in the gta or or is far from you uh then just make sure that you exceed that amount uh that's written on the website in order to avoid paying for shipping mm -hmm. that works best, right yeah so yeah because it might take a few days to ship basically you're saying if it's just easier to go grab it pick it up and it, it, exactly yeah. exactly and, but if you don't have a car then you want probably want to do it earlier or if you find trouble getting there right you want yeah yeah. All right. I think we covered pretty much everything about plastic teeth. I don't know. Are we missing anything? Um, maybe like storing them. Usually they get those containers. You can get one from the dollar store that stores them and like. Uh, yes. Just make sure properly store it uh, because once you have these many teeth, it's uh, it's a hassle if they get mixed up. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a good point and too. Yeah. you want to be. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you want to be quick when you're changing the teeth and uh, just make sure that you store them and you can retrieve them efficiently. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So like label, second molar, maybe in either little Ziploc bags, for example, yeah. that's one method. Um, or what do you call those containers? Like, you know, those pill so ones. Those like partitions, kind of yeah. yeah, those partitioning uh, containers or yeah. something i'm not really sure yeah and you could have uh, like molars in one some of my friends things. actually what they do is uh they write the name on the root of the tooth that's the most efficient way even if they get mixed up you still know what it is and it's very easy for you to spot the like yeah. it says one two or one three or just one six or they or do that three six or whatever right? before they prep with like, a marker let's say you buy yeah, 200 so tooth, you're gonna go on <laughs> yeah yeah as we'll soon as you buy bit. it yeah. they you're uh, you you take them from um, from wherever you buy it in a small ziploc bag yeah and then you take them one by one and write the name very quickly so yeah. that just in case if they get mixed up uh you wouldn't you you'll you won't spend like an hour trying to sort them out hmm I feel like that works if you're buying like small doses. Like let's say you go you go buy ten, then you could mark them. But if you're buying like let's say your first two hundred, yeah, the first one, like, yeah, the first time you're gonna like buy is gonna take sorting you some them time. up maybe in the container without writing on them is uh, easier. Yeah, but but, but yeah. it will save you a lot more time if, if you do mix them. The uh, the get yes exactly. Yeah, got you. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I think that hopefully helped everybody that's starting with ACS to get their plastic teeth. Anything else Hopefully. you want to add? We'll make a Kilgore like special teeth one in a different video. Uh, uh, this one is mainly specialized oh, there, for there are plastic. People... Yeah. Yeah, I just remembered. Uh, there are people getting 
like plastic teeth and special teeth from uh, from abroad like from uh, like indian websites uh-huh. uh, or kilgore middle east uh, they do they they are cheaper right mm-hmm. and they and these people they do save up money but on the expense of time so if you're if you're if you know you're getting uh, going to practice for the acs after a month or two and uh, you have enough time mm-hmm. you can check those options and see they will save you some money mm-hmm. yeah if i was in that spot i feel like it would be too much of a hassle and risk but if you like already have a pathway knowing how to do it maybe exactly right? yeah exactly so if you know a friend who who got them before and he's uh, is getting them again or is making another order yeah um, i think it works best if you just ask that friend to get for you as well um that's if you have time right if you don't have time then yeah the most convenient way to go is just buy it from here and buy as as you go right as as many as you need got you so like i think one of the websites is like navadha or something right yeah uh, yeah it's called navadha, navadha and uh, yeah. some people yeah some people also buy from kilgore middle east and uh some people buy straight from kilgore uh from the states mm-hmm. uh me oh, personally, directly from the kilgore I, website you could buy it right but, yes yes ah, exactly. what was the disadvantage exactly. of that i think it was the shipping shipping yeah so the, and you're uh, you're bound to a specific number of teeth you can get more and uh you might be you might have to pay customs i'm not sure yeah yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember the, it was a hassle. It was a hassle. Yeah. So let's say you buy it from Kilgore International directly. Um, let's say you're allowed for a specific am- a number of teeth, then you're paying shipping on that. And if you and if you try to arrange that, let's say you, your friend, the other friend, you can't do that in one shipment because there's a limited am- number, right? Possibly. Exactly. But I'm not sure. I'm yeah. not sure if that applies to the plastic teeth or only to the special teeth. So that's another thing because I think it may apply to the special teeth, but. The limiting like the number of limited how many you could order but i'm sure there's mm. going to be shipping kilgore always charges as from my experience charges shipping right um but again yes, it's an option we do. and into. one more thing is um every time i would i'm not gonna say every time but almost almost every time that i go into their website and I, i'm looking for specific codes uh they're out of stock so mm. it's just easier to come here and find out uh what what the guys um just i'm going to buy my teeth from have and just collect that and take it and go practice gotcha okay guys so let's summarize um the type is basically the nissan 200 right uh for that type of aunt and make sure you're getting the 32 piece uh type because the 28 won't fit on the 32 piece type of aunt the number we said 10 of each first molar and then five of each of the other remaining teeth. So we'll come up to a total to start with uh, 180. We're not saying this is what you have to do. We're just saying, you know, it could be a good start, right? Then uh, where you could get them from, you know, I I think my conclusion is that it's just not worth it to go, you know, above and beyond to save on these because it won't be that much anyway. It's just more convenient to buy them from somewhere local in Canada or uh, here just, you know, it's not gonna be that much more expensive and probably just pick them up or if they ship for free that's that's awesome to confirm that so buying them here in canada is, is probably going to be the easier way and it's not worth it to try to buy them from somewhere out of canada you know unless you really know that pathway so uh, you don't want to get you know scammed or anything if you're not sure of it right do you think uh, that's concludes everything oh yes definitely all right awesome thank you very much dr sharif for this uh, and your your experience uh and guys if you have you know any suggestions if we said any anything that you think if you have any ideas or opinions leave us uh comments below to discuss uh what other ideas or whatever platforms you may have or concepts about buying plastic teeth or recommendations we're we'll be glad to hear from you and check out our uh also our courses in the links below and you could go to these websites as well. We'll leave like a, a link to, to North America in the description below as well.